Exemption Certificate Management, presented by the Allen Tax Department. Navigating the complexities of exemption or resale certificates is something many businesses deal with daily. The purpose of this training is to provide an overview of what exemption certificate management is, why it is important, and how Allen Tax can help with this process. Businesses are required to register to collect and remit sales tax to a state or local jurisdiction when making a sale of taxable property if the business has established a sufficient connection with the state or locality, which is referred to as nexus. Instances can occur when the seller with established nexus can exclude sales tax from a transaction. Items deemed not taxable by state statutes or regulations is a compliant reason for a seller to exclude sales tax on a transaction. When sales tax is not applied to a taxable purchase because the purchase is being resold and the applicable sales tax will be collected on the final sale of the exchanged tangible property, a resale certificate will need to be provided by the purchaser to the seller to exclude sales tax on a normally taxable transaction. This practice ensures states do not collect sales tax twice on the sale of the same property. Additionally, an exemption certificate will need to be provided to exclude tax from an otherwise taxable purchase if the end user is an exempt organization, which can include schools, charities, and government entities, to name a few. Exemption and Resale Certificates Overview what is an exemption or resale certificate? An exemption or resale certificate is a form or document issued by a business to ensure sales tax is not applied to purchases. When can an exemption apply? Exemptions are based on what is being sold, the nature of the transaction, how the property is being used, and who the customer is. Who is responsible for exemption or resale certificates? Businesses that sell for resale in wholesale markets or to exempt entities must operate within multi-state sales and use tax compliance obligations. Tax professionals need to understand critical issues related to requirements for ensuring sales tax exemptions and obtaining exemption certificates. When a sale occurs, Businesses with Nexus must either charge applicable sales tax to the purchaser or accept a properly executed exemption certificate to exempt the transaction from sales tax. As each U.S. state sets its own rules for exemption or resale certificate requirements, diverse complexity exists for the tax professional in clearly discerning compliance requirements of each transaction. Types of Certificates Accepted forms vary by state and the required information to make these certificates valid will differ based on the state of issuance. In addition, each state will dictate specific rules within their jurisdictions regarding the use of these resale or exemption certificates. Here we will discuss common types of certificates accepted in the United States. Multi-State Tax Commission Resale Certificate The Multi-State Tax Commission has developed a uniform sales and use tax resale certificate that 36 states have indicated can be used as a resale certificate. The certificate itself contains instructions on its use, lists the states that have indicated to the Commission that a properly filled out form satisfies the requirements for a valid resale certificate, and sets forth specific requirements and limitations on its use. Streamlined Sales Tax Certificate The Streamlined Sales Tax Governing Board provides a certificate of exemption to cover applicable exemptions in 24 states. It is important to note not all states allow all exemptions listed on this form, and it is important for purchasers to understand if they qualify to claim exemptions indicated on the certificate. State-Specific Certificates States not listed on any multi-jurisdictional certificate will require their state-specific form or certificate for all exemption claims. 
Direct Pay Permit. Direct pay permits are issued directly by the jurisdiction and allow the holder of the permit to make purchases tax-free and pay applicable use tax directly to the state when the purchase is used for a taxable purpose. Exempt Organization Certificate Exempt organization certificates are issued directly by the jurisdiction when the appropriate paperwork is filed explaining the organization's exempt category. Organizations typically utilizing this type of certificate can be schools, religious institutions, or nonprofit organizations. A common error with resale form selection deals with buyers incorrectly providing a copy of their sales tax permit or license instead of a valid resale or exemption certificate. If this occurs, it is extremely important for a seller to determine if this is an acceptable resale or exemption certificate. For example, the state of Mississippi will issue retail sales tax permits, and the permit will exclusively note, quote, the permit holder may purchase materials or services for resale exempt from tax, end quote. However, if the state in question does not exempt tax based on a buyer providing a copy of their sales tax permit, the seller will need to obtain the correct certificate to proceed with processing the sale without tax applied. Valid Certificate Requirements While some states and specific incidents may require less information, Allen recommends for insurance that a certificate is properly completed and valid, it contains the following key elements at a minimum. Seller's name and address. Buyer's name and address. Business buyer is engaged in. General description of business activities. General description of item or services purchased. Reason for exemption. Buyer's state sales tax registration or permit number. Signature, title of party signing, date and or effective date. In addition to the items noted, certificates may also ask the issuer to confirm if this is a single use or blanket certificate. The seller may also need acknowledgement from the buyer stating if any purchase exempted from tax is used or consumed within the normal course of business tax will be paid directly to the appropriate taxing jurisdiction if applicable. Any missing fields could jeopardize the exempt nature of the sale and result in a sales tax audit liability if not rectified. The best time to ensure a fully completed exemption certificate is received and stored is at the time of the transaction. It is important to note certain states do not offer a fillable form option. States like Florida, Washington, and Louisiana will automatically issue state-provided resale certificates based on a business's active registration to collect and remit sales tax to that particular jurisdiction. Example An example of a certificate which requires the items we just mentioned is the Multi-State Tax Commission Resale Certificate. Without having these sections completed by the purchaser, their certificate will not be valid and will likely not defend the seller's tax-exempt sales in the event of an audit. Drop Shipments Drop shipment transactions create very complex scenarios when it comes to exemption certificate management, as these transactions involve more than a single buyer and seller. What is a drop shipment? A typical drop shipment transaction involves three parties, a retailer or seller, a supplier or manufacturer, and an end customer. A straightforward drop shipment transaction occurs when a retailer accepts an order from a customer. The retailer will then place an order with a third-party supplier or manufacturer. The retailer will then direct the supplier or manufacturer to ship the finished product directly to the end customer on behalf of the retailer. Drop Shipments versus Standard Transactions Compare this to a standard transaction. In a standard transaction, 
The supplier makes a sale to the retailer and ships the goods to the retailer, and the retailer makes a sale to the customer and ships the goods to the customer. Consider this in the context of exemption certificates. In both scenarios, the retailer's purchase should be exempt from sales tax for the purpose of resale. In a standard transaction, if the manufacturer supplier is registered to collect tax in the retailer's state, then the retailer can easily supply their state's resale certificate. But in a drop shipment, for the certificate to be considered proper, it must be for the customer's designated state of delivery. If the supplier or manufacturer is registered to collect sales tax in the customer's state but the retailer is not, this will create an issue. Therefore, drop shipments become complicated as these three-party transactions can cover multiple states which makes it difficult for all parties to comply with multi-state tax regulations. To solidify this understanding, we will go over this again in deeper detail in the following slides. Drop Shipments and Exemption or Resale Certificates For the purpose of this training, we will focus on the implications drop shipment transactions have on the collection of exemption or resale certificates. As there are three parties involved in these transactions, the sale between the retailer and manufacturer will create a purchase for resale as the retailer is selling to their end customer and collecting the applicable sales tax on the final transaction. Therefore, the retailer should be exempt from paying tax to the manufacturer if they are able to provide appropriate resale certificate. As is customary in a drop shipment transaction, the collection of an appropriate resale certificate can be relatively simple or can become complex. Same state transactions. Seller can issue state resale certificate. Out of state transactions. If the seller is not registered in the ship to state, what are their options to claim the resale exemption? We will go into an example for both scenarios in the following sections. The certificate options below are the most common methods available to claim a resale exemption in a drop shipment transaction. It is important to note these options will differ by state and we recommend doing research in the event of each instance to ensure the correct information is provided to exempt the seller from tax and to ensure the manufacturer complies with state sales tax regulations. Streamlined Sales Tax Certificate Seller provides home state registration number for each state listed on the certificate if needed. Multi-State Tax Commission Certificate Seller can use home state number if applicable and accepted by specific state. State-specific certificate. The seller can provide their home state certificate number on the state-required certificate, Virginia as an example. State-issued certificate. Certain states will require sellers to be registered for their sales tax in their state and do not allow any alternative methods to claim a resale exemption other than using that state registration number, Maryland as an example. This will force the seller to register for sales tax in these particular states if they wish to claim the resale exemption. Drop shipments, same state transactions. If all parties are located in the same state, say Florida, the businesses should be registered to collect sales tax in Florida as they have established a physical presence in the taxing jurisdiction. Therefore, the retailer can simply issue their Florida resale certificate to the manufacturer to be relieved of paying tax to the manufacturer. Drop shipments. Out-of-state transactions. 
Difficulties begin to arise if the retailer does not have established nexus in and is not registered for sales tax in the state where the manufacturer is shipping the end customer's purchase. If the retailer is unable to provide approved documentation to the manufacturer for the resale transaction, the manufacturer will have no choice but to charge sales tax to the retailer to remain compliant with sales tax laws and regulations. Situations like this will lead to confusion among businesses in determining the correct documentation to provide or accept in these scenarios. If the retailer is only located in Georgia and both the manufacturer and end customer are located in North Carolina, the retailer would need to provide a North Carolina certificate to the manufacturer to establish the resale exemption. However, if the seller only has established nexus in Georgia and is not registered to collect sales tax in North Carolina, they will not have a valid North Carolina sales tax number to provide on the resale certificate. Therefore, the retailer and or manufacturer will need to research their options to remain compliant with the state tax regulations to exempt the sale in North Carolina. Based on our research, the seller can use the streamlined sales tax certificate in this transaction. North Carolina will accept the certificate with any state's registration number, even if the number provided is not the end customer's state. The seller can put their Georgia sales tax number labeled as resale on each applicable line and list home state. This will cover all parties in this out-of-state transaction. Audit Risks with no exemption certificate management in place, sales tax compliance for exempt sales becomes extremely difficult for businesses in the event of an audit. Improperly managing exemption certificates to document sales tax exempt transactions is potentially one of the greatest liabilities found in a state sales tax audit. It is extremely important to have these documents on file as this will explain why you did not pay or collect sales tax. If these certificates are not available, you will be unable to explain reasoning behind sales tax exclusions, which can result in tax liabilities, penalties, and interest. Maintaining current and complete exemption certificates is a crucial part of sales tax compliance as it is extremely difficult to gather certificates for past sales when an audit is opened three to five years after a sale took place. How Allen Tax Can Help End-to-end -end ECM service tailored to your business. Allen manages the entire process, reviews certificates, validates as complete and valid, notifies if invalid or incomplete, obtains valid certificate, and stores image and data electronically in proprietary CERT locker software. Allen's exemption certificate management service enables clients to efficiently manage certificates. Allen eliminates time-consuming and labor-intensive tasks, streamlines processes, improves compliance, and reduces audit exposure and tax liabilities. Exemption Certificate Chart Allen Tax has developed an exemption certificate chart that can be downloaded from our website to be used as a guide when a business is either issuing a certificate to a supplier or collecting a certificate from a purchaser. Proven Solution in Sales Tax Audit Defense Allen's process for proper review and storage of exemption certificates can eliminate sales tax audit liabilities and reduce audit cycle time. Outlined in the table below is a summary of recent audits where Allen was able to defend Clients exempt sales with our exemption certificate management services. Allen Cert Locker. Allen Cert Locker is designed to be operated by tax professionals and accessible to clients, customers, and used for audit defense. Offering a dashboard and workflow status as well as import and export data functionality. CertLocker is the only streamlined software solution needed to ensure compliance and to minimize tax liabilities. This technology was developed by tax professionals and IT experts designed
designed for the tax professional to provide a cost-effective and efficient way to digitally storing data and images of fully vetted exemption certificates. Allen provides U.S. exemption certificate management solutions powered by our software. Allen CertLocker is accessible with use of a secure online web portal for submission, storage, and retrieval. Compliant because certificates are validated as meeting federal, state, and local tax guidelines. Effective as tax professionals ensure a thorough and cost-effective process for the taxpayer. Proactive because certificates are collected in advance of audit and renewed timely and consistently.